Hello, today we are back with another Star Trek Online video. Today we have the Crosho Class budget build. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead. It's a disruptor build with the disruptor beam boat. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and check it out. We have a focusing link disruptor beam array Mark 12 with critical chance and damage. We're looking at 956.2 disruptor damage, 765 per second. Negative 8.7 weapon power to self, which applies to the beam arrays. Um, 2.5 chance for a 1045.7 physical damage every one second for 10 second. Ignores shield. And then when firing projectile weapons, we're looking at 10% chance for 1045.7 physical damage every one second for 10 second, which also ignores shield. This is going to be on all of the arrays and stuff so I'm not going to mention this anymore 2% chance to expose target to exploits torpedo exploits game plus 50 armor penetration and 4% critical chance then we have a regular run of the mill blue disruptive beam array with critical damage and damage so right now we have 951.2 disruptor damage 760.9 DPS, negative 8.7 weapon power, and 20% critical severity. We have a Krager Wave Disruptor Beam Array. I did buy this off the exchange. It was about 2 million. Then I upgraded it to where it was, to where it is now. 947.6 Disruptor Damage, negative 8.7 weapon fire power to self while this weapon's fire. 10% accuracy, 40% critical severity, 4% critical chance. Um, then we have a Kelvin Timeline Photon Torpedo with accuracy, uh, critical damage, and the reload. So we're looking at 5,558.1 kinetic damage, 20% critical severity, negative 1,200 shield drain on exposed target. 100 armor penetration versus exposed targets, 10% 10 accuracy rating, and a 4 second recharge. In the back, we have a omnidirectional disruptor beam array, mark 12, accuracy arc and damage, 951.2 disruptor damage, negative 8.7 weapon firepower to self while this weapon is firing, 2.5 chance for negative 10 all damage resistance for 15 seconds which applies to all of the disruptor most of no this one <laughs> uh disruptor beam array mark 12 crafted purple accuracy critical hit critical chance cr accuracy critical chance in damage 956.2 disruptor damage negative 8.7 weapon power to self while this weapon's firing 2.5 chance, negative 10, all damage resistance for 15 seconds. 2% chance to expose target to torpedo exploits. Torpedo exploits gain 50 armor penetration. 10 accuracy rating, 2% critical chance. Then we have the House Martok Disruptor 360 degree energy weapon. Accuracy arc and damage, 837 disruptor damage. Uh, negative 8.7 weapon power to self weapon power to self while this weapon is firing 2.5 chance for negative 10 all damage resistance for 15 seconds um and 10 accuracy rating and since we have the since we have two two of these guys we get 2.5 critical chance and 15 accuracy rating our shields, what we're running right now, is the Aegis Covariant Shield Array, Mark 12, 5.3 Kinetic and Energy Damage Resistance Rating, 2.5 Shield Power, 9033.8 Maximum Shield Capacity, 10% Bleed Through, 256.6 Shield Regeneration every 6 seconds when hit, chance to increase resistance against incoming damage type for a short time, stacked up to 5 times per energy type. The two set for this is negates all damage for 0 0.25 seconds once every 30 seconds. That's damage negation. Our deflector array. We're running a positron deflector array, Mark 12, hull cap, and shield cap. 17.5 starship shield restoration, 26.2 hull capacity, 26.2 starship shield capacity. 
Our deflector is a Mark 7. Uh, whole cap, shield cap again, and minus recharge, which I have no idea what that is, but whatever. 9.4 Starship hull capacity and 9.4 Starship shield capacity. We're really going for the hull and shield tanky side tack sort of build here. So it's like all three. Uh, inhibiting secondary deflector, delayed radiation, damage to target, science buff, control abilities, two affected targets. After four seconds, deals 2,240 radiation damage, 50% shield penetration, which would give us 1,120.25 radiation damage going to the shield and going through the shields. Impulses, Aegis Hyper Impulse Engines. Um, again, we're getting the energy negation because we have two of these. Five defense rating, 20.5 flight speed. Hyper Impulse Engines are faster than other engines while at high engine power. All Impulse Engines increase their speed and turn rate with your engine power level. 0 0.45 turn rate. When moving, plus five defense rating. Full impulse, 122.7 flight speeds, diverse all power to engines. Our warp core, we're using a deuterium stabilized warp core Mark 12, Baton Trance. Um, what I really like about this is the negative 15 weapon power cost. So if we go ahead, switch to like, I don't know, this one. The weapons actually go to negative 10 weapon power to solve all this weapons firing. So that's why I like it. Um, yeah, consoles, we have two of these vulnerability exploiters, Mark 12, on Disruptor, 31.9% Disruptor damage, 8% critical severity, and then two of these Disruptor induction coil, Mark 12, 30 phaser, 30 Disruptor damage. In our science consoles, we have the Nausicaan Siphon Capacitator, Mark 12, 31.5 Starship Drain Expertise, 26.7 Power Transfer Rate, and 20 disruptor damage. This one, console universal weapon sensor enhancer, 24.4 accuracy rating, and 24.4 starship ablative hull plating, and control expertise. This one, hostile acquisition, we're getting 30 accuracy rating, 30 starship control expertise, and we're getting one GPL. Um, our forceful inspection here, it for to target hold for five seconds for 10 seconds after hold ends negative 50 all damage resistance negative 33.3 percent all damage and flight speed two minute at a two minute recharge here we have a ultimate modified swarm processor you can get this out of the zem store right uh, out of the low buy store right now um this is like one of the few that you might have to go out of your way for, but 2.3% critical chance, 20.3 accuracy rating, which I really like. Approaching Agony, you can find this in the Emperor's Lockbox, and also, also on the Exchange, I think right now it's like 2 million, so that's, that's kind of budget, I guess. 15% phaser damage, 1.5% critical chance. And then our engineering consoles are filled with the House Mark Talk, Defensive Configuration Mark 12, 10% maximum hit points, five shield, 5 shield and engine power settings, 7.5 maximum shield capacity, and 16% flight turn rate. Console engineering, Trillium D plating Mark 12, 13.3 all damage resistance rating, and 20 starship fall capacity, which I really like. 13.3 uh, maximum shield capacity and add 7.5 of your auxiliary power to your shield power's bonus power, immune to the effects of Delphic Expanse. So we're going to go ahead and take this into battle and see what we can do. Uh... How do I... Oh yeah. Okay, PVE task for operations. We're just gonna queue up for pretty much defensive target one, get me to breath or get the kills, Kobayashi Maru, Herald Sphere, Operation Repressive, Herald Zero, 
from its fire, swarm, contributions on the assault. We're gonna get this guy pretty fast. One bolt and snare, vicious cycle. Okay, we're just waiting. Um, go ahead, look at her stats, I guess. While we wait, accuracy is 114.73, crit chance is 9.8, crit severity 72.9. Defense rating is 15. As we move, it'll go up to 95. Hull, 112,813. Horror rate, 90% a minute. Shield regeneration rate, 351 shield per every 6 seconds. Max shield capacity, 16,037. Kinetic resist is 29.1. And all the other resists are 26.0. Flight turn rate is 24.77. Turn rate is 5.1. Power change rate is 226.68. Go ahead, queue up for that. Oh, look, we get to teleport. The Klingons have made attack. All right, okay. This is not the Alachi. Surprisingly, thought it'd be that one. Oh, great. Another crossfield class. We don't have much time. Drop the facility shields and board them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I have no idea what I made that. I'm gonna go for this charge station. We have successfully captured the North Station. Alright, easy stuff, easy stuff, even though our front shields say otherwise. <laughs> Kinda heard that. Um, True warriors, attack! Yeah, kind of heard that, sir. Mr. D. Have arrived. Take them out. Let's go get him. Easy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I destroyed all of those totally for sure. Mm-hmm. 
All ships be advised. Klingons have several. Where are they now? Okay. Intercept enemy missiles before they reach our transports. Transport Alpha-1 reports missile lock-on. How dare you. Alright, alright. Hey, hey, I'm talking to you. Hey! Hey! Where are you going? Just to transport beta one. Yo, what do you think you're doing? Yeah, you're not getting through me, okay? Uh, missiles. Are you gonna like pop up or something? Okay. Nope. I think there's bad guys. Oh shoot. Gamma one is being targeted by two more missiles. Another missile is inbound. You get him. Got him. The Shinano has been disabled. No 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 we gotta get this, I gotta get this. Wait, can I like Shinano has returned to the fight. Okay. Two missiles okay. are inbound okay. on Alpha Corridor. Got it. Got it. Got it. Am I good? Do it, sir. Okay, this guy is really good at accuracy, I guess. This guy's actually sticking to the. <laughs> Gonna go for this Fortis Q. Fortis Blur, I'm sorry. Can you stop shooting for one second? Oh. Look, everyone's favorite cross build showed up. Amazing. Third missile is just launched towards Alpha Corridor. Great, now he's gonna watch these guys. Mm. <laughs> Transport gamma to the target. Destroy the missile. Gotta get these, gotta get these, gotta get these, gotta get these, gotta get these. Do not blow up. Thank you for not hitting anything. No. Those stupid knobs can't help me. Okay, this guy's doing it. Uh, 
Sure, mister, there's one more. Okay, got him, got him, got him. We are okay. We got the transports. We got the transports. And we won. Okay. Security forces Klingon land. transport Starfleet Field command. Zone of all remaining Klingon vessels. Yeah, that was a lot to take in. I don't. Uh, yeah. Who are these people? Let me take a transport, damn it. Right shields failing. How are my right shields failing? Yes, I got it. Got it. Okay, it's gonna take me a hell of a while to get over there. I cannot impulse boost thing. Klingon transport disabled. They got it. Tractor it back. Got it. They got area. it. They got it. How? What? Okay. Jeez, what a flexor. That's making me sad. Klingon transport disabled. Tractor it back to our starting area. The Klingon transport has been secured. Almost there. Woo. Klingon transport disabled. The Klingon transport has been secured. Okay, gonna go back now. Oh, jeez, that took like a lot. Klingon transport disabled. Drag her back to the Maybe that was me. Damn, feeling pretty good. Dreadnought. This is a car. Son, Son of a cam, may you find I death before, before the corner. Yeah, may you die in my hand. All vessels, disable that dreadnought. We need to take our captain alive. Disable the dreadnought. I'm gonna get there. The Makwa has been disabled. The Shinano has been disabled. What? Okay. Let's 
Looks like you guys need some help, eh? Got him. Let's go. We have defeated a car dreadnought. Leave. In good riddance. Pew. So yeah, that was basically the crossroad class. Um the the Borg assimilated. What makes it green? That is not needed, that's actually on my, uh, visuals, so it's not even affecting anything. Um, so yeah. But this is the Crosso class, uh, it took me quite a while to actually build this, you know, um, getting the right combination of weapons and consoles and stuff, yeah, it was it's hard, but I had a fun time grinding, you know. But yeah, this is Crasco class, probably under about 20 million tops, 5 million minimum, in that in that range. Uh, so yeah, I did, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, uh, see you later, maybe.